all. Today we will make berries, namely raspberries. Let's add a UV sphere. In the menu we will write 12 segments and 6 rings. We pass into the editing mode. Remove the top point on the sphere. Select the bottom point and add a bevel. Select two on lower edges and delete them. Select all faces. Right click and select extrude individual faces. We divide into small parts. In object mode, add the subdivision surface modifier. I will enter three levels and three units in the render. Turn on the modifier preview mode. In edit mode, change the pivot point mode to individual origins. Change the size of the faces so that the shape is more rounded. Exit edit mode and smooth the object. Let's return to median points. In edit mode, select the top center loop. We pull it down. Reduce it a bit. Close the hole with fill. Let's make the correct geometry using poke face. Add a cut in the center. Duplicate the loop. Let's separate it. Select the new object and drag up the z-axis. Increase it. Extrude twice. Select the inner loop and extrude inwards. Make the hole smaller. Let's make the tail through extrusion. Cut it with two loops. Select the lower one and lower it down. And trace the top one up. Select the edges where the leaves will be separated. Separate them. Select the outer edge. Change the pivot point mode to individual origins. Reduce the leaves. Bend the leaves. And make the ends of the leaves a little narrower. Cut each leaf. Select the central edge. and lower them. Select the places where the leaves connect. Change pivot point on the median point and decrease. 
Add the solidify modifier. Move in the list above. I'll set the thickness to 0 0.700. Make the tail smaller. Let's select the tip of the leaf. Change the pivot point mod to individual origins. Reduce the tip of the leaf. Select the top loop on the tail. Let's close the void. Select the plane and click poke face. Exit edit mode and smooth. Let's put it on the berry. We see that we need to resize the leaves and bend them. Add a background for the rendering. Increase plane. In edit mode pull the wall. Add the bevel modifier. Specify 10 segments. Exit edit mode and smooth. Select the raspberry and raise it higher. Enter in the shading mode. Select the raspberry. Add a material. Press Shift Plus A to bring up the node search menu. Add a mix shader. Drag it to make it connect. We'll assign a color to base color. Add a RGB. Specify the same color as in base color and plug it in. Add the bright contrast. Connect the left part to RGB. Add a diffuse BSDF and connect bright contrast to it. BSDF connect to the shader. Add ambient occlusion. And color ramp. We'll plug AO into FAG. Plug color to FAG in the mix shader. Let's change the bright value to minus 3.0. In color ramp, Move the sliders to change the shading. Change the roughness to about 0.4. Select all the nodes and copy them. Add the material for the leaves with a tail. In the nodes we remove materials and paste the copied nodes. In RGB we choose the green color. Change the shading a bit. Select the background and add material to it. Let's give it a nice gentle color. Choose viewport shading render. In the scene setup select the render type cycles. In the device GPU compute. Switch to the word tab. 
choose color, environment, texture. Now I will load my favorite background. In the render I will put 512 max samples. In the film tab I will put a check mark in transparent. Choose a raspberry. Change the shading node. And I will change the brightness. Now I change a little bit node setting for leaves. Back to layout. Turn on viewport shading render. At lighting sun. In the transformation we set the rotation to 10 degrees on the X axis and 35 on the Y axis. Let's add a camera. Select the perspective in viewport. Press Ctrl plus Alt and numpad zoom for the camera to apply the perspective. Now change the camera angle so that we like it. Press F12 to start the render. Remember to save the image to your PC when the render is complete. Thank you for watching. If you like it, please like and subscribe to get the latest videos.